Hurricane Milton is hurling tornadoes and rain at the U.S. coast on its steady, potentially catastrophic march toward Florida's west coast. Today, Florida officials issued a final plea to residents to evacuate or face grim odds of survival. This threat follows Hurricane Helene devastating that region just two weeks ago. Here at home, many people want to help. Aaron Stuvey talks with local partners to learn how we can lend a hand. As Americans anxiously watch on as weather disasters continue to hit the southern United States, many are left wondering what they can do to help. Some have taken to sending care packages of blankets and supplies. Companies like XL Energy have sent crews to affected areas to help. And the American Red Cross is ramping up its efforts as chaos and damage have disrupted the supply of blood in hurricane-affected areas. When we have a situation like this, there are hundreds of blood drives that are not occurring throughout the areas that were affected by Hurricane Helene and now by Hurricane Milton. But there are still needs of patients in those communities. Locally, there are a variety of blood drives scheduled with slots available within the next week. At places like Grace Lutheran Church, Emanuel Lutheran Church, the Mankato YMCA, and the Blue Earth County Library. The Red Cross also has sent around 100 Minnesotans to disaster zones and are looking for more volunteers. KUIC News Now and our parent company, Gray Media, have also teamed up with the Salvation Army for hurricane relief. You can make a financial donation by scanning this QR code on your screen or visit HelenHelp.org. 100% of all donations will go to the disaster relief operation you select. Aaron Stuvey, KUIC News Now. The local sisters collecting blankets for hurricane relief will be taking donations through tomorrow. Items can be dropped off at Cato Roofing Incorporated from 7 to 5 and Indulge Salon and Tanning from 9 to 8.